Morning folks, I'm Paul Wilgen with Fowler Boat Company and uh, we're hunting the Missouri River, a uh, uh, beautiful cattail marsh up on the Nebraska-South Dakota border. I've uh, been coming out here for about 20 years. I have some real special guests in my boat today, Tommy Geist, who's been coming out here with me for five or six years with his dog Drake. Uh, we've got our two retrievers, Sandy and Lulu, and one of my special guests is my, my youngest daughter, Abby, who this is her first trip out here. They're coming in, Abby. Ready? Take them, Abby. Nice shooting, Abby. They were a little far out there, but you, you pulled her down. Let's get the dogs out. That second one was hit hard and he got back up. But we got one out of them too. Good job, Abby, good shooting. Thank you. Reload. We just moved around the corner and set up along the smart week and we, we haven't been here five minutes. And just as we suspected, we had two birds come over and, and work real hard. We had to call on them hard and they circled around, but they want to be near this smart weed. So we were able to get them to come in and finally lock in on our decoys. Um, both of them at about 20 yards, we called the shot. Abby stood up, she popped one. We popped another one that we thought was coming down, but managed to open its wings and get away. But um, these, these were good quality shots. Both of them should have been dead. We hit them both, but it had to get up. It had to go away. Is that now? Shooter. Push up. It's going, still moving. It's heads down. Great, great, great. Back, great. back. He, he catches every decoy in the water, I swear he does. You know, one of the things that's really important when you get out here is to have a have a good dog, especially when you start dropping birds in the grass and in the nose is important, but the ability to direct them, especially out of a big boat blind, a lot of times they don't see the duck hit the water. You're trying to keep them concealed. So a dog that could be, you know, is trained on hand signals is, is really helpful. Uh, in the absence of that, a, a good box of rocks. I see a lot of guys spend a lot of time up hollering at their dogs and whistle training their dogs, and that's wonderful if you've got the time to do it. But a, a retriever with a good nose, and if you can get them a mark and get them in the vicinity, it just makes it that much easier rather than standing there yelling at them all the time. Take them, take them. Hey, nice job, Abby. Thank you. Had a group, group about six or seven come in and two of them peeled off there when we, when we hit the comeback call and uh, worked down. It's getting windier and so they really cupped in nice and tight, back pedal just a little bit, but we didn't want to leave them out of the hole so we took the shot when we had the shot and that's a good rule of thumb, you know. You can have a lot of birds working, but take the birds in the hole. Hey, if you ever get a chance, you really should check out the stretch of river between the South Dakota and Nebraska border. It is one of the most beautiful marshes I've ever hunted. It takes a little while to learn it. it. takes a couple of days to scout and pattern the birds, but do your homework, take your time. It'll be well worth it in the end. And make sure you tune in for more Midwest Outdoors. <laughs>